Coming back to what this story is about now is about my return to the US after 11 years. And I guess it kind of gives away my age. Um, I hope I, I look quite young. Hi and welcome to my page, Savor the Moment. My name is Angelia and most of my friends and family call me Angel. So my origin story is a little bit of an unconventional one. And while most people love the idea of traveling the world and seeing new places, mine has been slightly different. Um, I would say that my main goal has been to live in different parts of the world because through that experience is you really are immersed in the different cultures, the different people. You meet lots of interesting characters along the way. And yeah, so that's kind of where my my hopes and dreams have been for a long time to live and work abroad now as a south african we all know that it's not super easy to find legitimate ways safe ways to travel and work abroad so this is where my story begins i was 19 years old i didn't quite know what i wanted to study and my mom and fortunately my family <laughs> on my mom's side are absolute travelers it's literally like a rite of passage. Everybody's worked and traveled abroad. Um, so, you know, the stories of hearing about their adventures only made me want to do that um, more, <laughs> I guess. They made it so exciting and really with the appetite for what it meant to travel abroad and work abroad as well. So at the age of 19, I thought, okay, well, I've matriculated and let's have a look at what the options are. Now, for some of us that remember, uh, back in the day, <laughs> there was the UK Visa work hol Working Holiday Exchange Program, right? Um, and you could get, if I'm not mistaken, it was like a two-year visa. You worked for six months, holidayed for six months, and so the cycle went on for two years. However, um, by the time I matriculated and the year I turned 19, that visa was revoked from South Africans, unfortunately. I was devastated um, because I thought, you know, the UK would be an incredible place to start. Um, I sort of had a few friends and family that were that side of the world. Um, and it would be a great opportunity to start my adventure of working overseas. Um, and I was devastated, of course. So went on to looking at new options and at the time, my aunt's sister-in-law had actually just gotten an opportunity to work as a uh, waitress at a country club through a really cool recruiting agency of which I will definitely put the link to who they are in the description below and their name is Workaway International and so that's sort of where my my focus went to you know I thought okay well uh, I'm 19 what do I know about the US <laughs> and um, embarked on doing that opportunity and uh, convinced my parents at 19 that I could be trusted to literally leave the country and go to a completely new continent. And they kind of let me do it. So <laughs> what I do have to say is that it changed my life. And that opportunity literally changed my perspective on what I thought I could achieve, um, on what I thought I knew about myself at 19. And I mean, really, uh, since then I've learned a hell of a lot more, let me just tell you. But what it did do is it showed me what was possible. And I think for so many of us, we just don't know where to look. We don't know what's legitimate. We don't know what's a scam. And that can get really, really scary, you know, especially if you're trying to do something. Um, and I guess take the road less traveled at the end of the day, because, you know, when you're on those kind of journeys, not everybody understands, um, you know, everybody kind of wants to have the ideal situation for themselves. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, I think what's important to know is your dream of traveling is your ideal situation. And there's nothing wrong with that. So what I do want to say is that since then, uh, at 19, I have since traveled to 30 different countries and I'm not trying to brag, but what I do want to expose you to is that it's possible. <laughs> um, I've had the opportunity to really meet some incredible people. Um, 
I've worked on the cruise ships and of course I will tell you a little bit more about that on my journey but coming back to what this story is about now is about my return to the US after 11 years and I guess it kind of gives away my age um, <laughs> I hope I, I look quite young but um, what I do want to say is after working in South Africa for a few years uh, my boyfriend and I really decided we needed a adventure. We needed a change. Um, and the one thing I can quite proudly say about myself is that I am an incredible change agent. Change terrifies me. Um, I'm quite a conservative person. So making these bold moves to go back overseas and to take on a new challenge, of course, it terrifies me. But I think in those moments that that's where you really truly understand who you are and what you're capable of. Um, and of course, change agents doesn't necessarily mean you have to pack up house and move continents. It could be anything in your life. But this is my story and I would love to take you on my journey. So without further ado, <laughs> um, I will be sharing in my next video with you um, what we will be doing going back to the US after 11 years and um, how you can do it as well. So stay tuned and if you haven't done it already, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and if you know anybody that is a seeker of adventure, of travel, of opportunities, please share this page with them because uh, I think they'll find some good value. Thank you.